Coming into mountain pose, let's get started. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down. Activate your core and lengthen up through your spine. Take a moment getting that yoga inner focus. Allowing yourself to breathe, exhaling stress and tension, and just allowing yourself to sink evenly into your feet. Toes spreading out, good support. Inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch those fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, keep your heart open, chest wide. Inhale, move up to the front with the shoulders down. And then exhale the hands behind you and press them gently to the floor as you clasp them. Lift your heart into a nice upper body back bend. Feel the whole back of your body open in the back bend. And then pivot forward at your hips, bring your hands up and your head down. Move your chin around to start releasing your neck a little bit. Bring your hands toward your head a little bit more for your shoulders. And then bend your knees and work your way up. So from the bottom of the spine, just unwind. And again, lift your heart as you get to the top. Shoulders dropping, coming into that upper body again for your back bend. Stretch your head back and lengthening through your whole spine. Inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment feeling that energy increase through your back, through your body. And again, arms at shoulder level. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep those shoulders down and bring your hands the opposite way clasped behind you. Lift your heart again into the back bend, stretch your spine, pivot over as you exhale. And again, deepen as much as you like, spread those toes out, lift the sitting bones, stretch in the back of your legs, and again, just release any tension. Inhale your way back up, and again, lifting your heart, dropping your shoulders, feel that whole upper body expand. And then inhale upright, releasing your arms. Let's do a little something different. Let's bring the feet together, bend your knees, hands above your knees, and we'll work out the lower back. So just circling with your knees. Remember, no going beyond your toes with your knees. Just circling, putting that lower back, lower body, give it a little bit of motion. And then stop and go the other way. And just get those knees and feet working. And then release that, coming back up, feet hip width apart. And again, bend your knees, hands either clasped across your lower back or up between your shoulder blades for reverse prayer, just to keep your shoulders even. And circle the hips. Are you still a little bit tight there in that bursitis point? And then go the other way. And again, just release back up into mountain pose. And let's do our side stretches. So keep one arm down, the other arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the fingers away from each other and lean, no twist to the butt. So remember, don't lean forward. Make sure that chest is open to the front. Reach the hand away and the foot you're leaning away from down. Expand through the ribs even more. Feel the side stretch on the spine. And then inhale to the top, release your arm, and bring the other one. Palm to the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Stretch apart and lean to the opposite side. Foot going down as you expand those ribs apart. Stretch it out. Keep breathing. Just relaxing into that opening. And then inhale up and release. Feel the sides a little more open. And bring the arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows, spreading your toes. Stretch the spine apart so we can twist. So get those bones separated and exhale to one side. Take a breath in, pivot over as you exhale. And just deepen as far as your body wants to go into the pivot in the twist. 
Keep the weight on both feet. Keep spreading out through your toes. Keep your arms next to your ears. And on an inhalation, work your way up in the twist. Come only into that upper body for your back bend, just gentle on your low back while you're twisting. Never overdo that. Shoulders are down, elbows back, and chest. Keep breathing. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switching your arms. And again, sitting bones down, spine stretching apart. Exhale to the other side. Take a breath, keep the weight on both feet, and exhale open. Once again, just deepen as far as you're needing to go, and relax in that twist. Keep the arms by your ears, and the weight on both feet coming back up, and lift your heart, pulling your elbows back, and your shoulders down. Keep breathing and lengthening through the whole body. Inhale upright, exhale down to the center, and extend your arms to the ceiling. Oh, I guess we got a little sunshine coming in. We're going to swan dive forward, so bring the arms to shoulder level, pivot at your hips, stretch the sitting bones and crown away from each other. And then we're pivoting, so stretch the spine apart and bring one hand down and the other one up, turning your whole body toward the side. Arms as much across from each other as they can be. And then pivot back to the center. Stretch it out again, lengthening that spine. Twist to the other side. Arms as much across from each other as they can do. Hips, ribs, shoulder, turn to the side. And then back to the center. And pivot back up. Bring your palms toward the ceiling. Hands overhead. And another little back bend. And then swan dive all the way forward into ragdoll. And just lift your sitting bones, move your chin around, sitting bones lifting up even more. Pull in with your hands behind your legs if you want more back stretch. And then arms back to the center. And another wind up. Just slightly bending your knees as you roll from the bottom of the spine all the way back up into the mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, feeling a little bit more stimulation through your whole back and body. And hands to your heart, looking at them, bring the hands toward the ceiling, and again, into a nice back bend, pivot forward at your hips, hands coming down to your heart, and then drop into the floor. Slide your hands up under your knees, halfway up, stretch, lengthening through your spine. And let's bend the knees and come to the floor already into our child pose transition. Hands back by your feet, forehead down. Take a breath and just stretch your whole body. Knees together if you like that back stretch on your low back. Shoulders relaxing down. Just take a moment and breathe. And then inhaling, sit up and bring your legs around to the back and your hands just off the mat at the front, coming into table position. I'm going to do a um, gate pose. So bring your leg out to the side, toes pointing ahead, and then walk your hands back up onto your hips. Bring your hand down on your leg that's extended and the other arm out. Palm to the ceiling, hips, knee hips and shoulder lined up. And then bring your arm right above your shoulder. So everything should be straight there. And then exhale, slide to the side, rib opening and lateral motion to your spine. So reach out through your fingertips and your head as you let this hand slide down toward the floor. Take a moment to breathe, to feel that opening through the ribs, lengthening through your head and your fingertips. And then slide back up, bring that hand down, and back to the front, bringing your knee back in into table position. So remember, your ribs are up, keeping that core active, supporting your low back while you're in table. And then we're bringing the other foot out, toes to the front, Walk your hands back up onto your hips 
get everything lined up and along that leg that's extended and the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling and right above your shoulder. Stretch out and slide to the opposite side. So remember, your ribs are opening, your hand is right along your ear, or your arm is right along your ear, hand extending out along the top of your head, and you're really opening through the side of your body, through your ribs. Take a breath, just relaxing. Let that hand keep sliding down your leg as far as it needs to go. And then inhale back up, exhale the arm down. And again, bring the hands to the front and the knee in. Go ahead and sink your hips back. Bring your arms out and around into child pose. Take a moment, just breathing, releasing through the hips and around spinning. And then inhaling, sit up and bring your legs out in front. So as you get into staff position with that sunshine reflecting off my toes, reach your head toward the ceiling, get the core activated, supporting your spine, and take a moment to breathe. And then bend your knees, draw those heels in until your feet are flat on the floor, the knees straight up. You're on your sitting bones. You're going to stay on the sitting bones. We're going to work the core a little bit. So just release back just slightly. So you're still on your sitting bones, but you feel that core area really activate a little bit more. Keep the shoulders down. Bring your hands, palms up outside your legs. That keeps the shoulders relaxed. And then bring one foot up a little bit for more or all the way out, extending straight. So kneecap toward your thigh if you're straight, tightening that and getting the back of the leg as straight as you want. Out through the base of the toes. You can flex your foot also if you prefer, but I kind of like to do the toes now. And keep the shoulders down, but the crown reaching out. So your spine is lengthening. The core is supporting you. You're on your sitting bones, and you're reaching out through the toe and the head and keeping those shoulders relaxed. But when if you start vibrating and it's really working that core area, you can put your foot down any time or you know, make it closer to the floor of that hips. And if you haven't already, go ahead and put that foot down. You can stay there working your abs, or you can sit up and take a little break. Take a moment to breathe. And of course, we're going to do the other leg and even things out. So again, you're on your sitting bones, core is active. So those ribs toward your spine and up, crown reaching away, shoulders back and down, hands, palms up, keeping those shoulders relaxed, and the other foot coming up as much as you want. And again, just extend out through the base of the toes or flex the heel if you prefer, and let your whole body reach out through the head and the toes, and just breathe. Taking a moment to feel that core working and supporting you a little bit more. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. Bringing that foot down whenever you're ready to do so. And again, when it gets to the floor, if you want to sit up and release that bound area a little bit, that's okay too. But yeah, you know what we're going to do next. Both feet together. It's going to be more intense. So remember, do what's right for you. You don't have to go all the way. And I'll give you a little sneaky way to release that a little bit, even if you go with your legs extended. So activate your core. Release slightly back, but stay on your sitting bones. Otherwise, you'll lose your balance. Hands, palms up, feet on the floor. Stay there. Good workout. You can be in this position just fine, or you can bring the legs parallel to the floor, or you can straighten them, stretching out, or hold your toes, your big toes with your index and middle fingers, and then stretch the legs out straight. And that takes a little of the tension out of the hip flexors and makes it a little bit easier. But remember, don't overstrain your shoulders if you do that. So make sure that your shoulders are back and down and your head is reaching out and you're working out through the base of the toes or the heels. You can again, flex the foot if you want to, or you can do the pointy toe thing. 
but stay on your sitting bones, otherwise you'll lose your balance. And just let the floor do some supportive work there in the middle of your torso. Take a moment to breathe. Exhale any tension. And then if you've got your hands on your feet, release that and slowly bring the feet down and slide them out, sitting all the way back up and release any tension in those hips. So go ahead and lean forward. Take a moment to breathe, stretch out through the spine. Exhale any tension. And then inhale, sitting up. And let's bring the feet to the end of the mat. Into staff position, again, activating the core. And then keeping the core active, we're going to just slowly roll onto our backs. So just come slightly down and then a little bit more. Feel that working to support you as you go onto your sacrum, the lower back, and then the bottom ribs, and then the shoulder blades, and then your whole back and shoulders onto the floor. Take a moment, recline the integration, and just allow yourself to get that core working again. So ribs up toward your spine and down toward the floor. And then sitting bones slightly toward your heels, bend your knees, bring the feet in flat on the floor. And let's strengthen the core and the low back a little bit. So we're going to press the back way down, the whole spine on the floor. And then lift your ribs up toward the ceiling, tucking your sitting bones back toward your shoulder blades and get that space underneath your back so that you're strengthening the back. And then exhaling, pushing down, sitting bones toward your heels, bringing that whole spine down, feeling that core contract as you pull it down. So just do that a few times. This is actually a good therapeutic for your low back strengthening, as well as just turning that core a little bit. So arching up through the ribs, through the lower back area, and then pressing down. Take a few breaths as you do that, feeling that work. Just a nice, gentle core supporting exercise and back strengthener. And then just come back to neutral in that position. And we're going to press the back down, bring the feet off the floor, and lift the legs both up toward the ceiling. Flex your feet. Or again, you can push out through the base of the toes if you prefer. And then bring your hands right above your shoulders up to the ceiling. This one's called dead bug. So if you've ever seen the bug there on the floor, dead. And then we're going to activate our bug though. So bring the right hand and the left foot down toward the floor. Core supporting you, getting into that position. Foot just off the floor, hand just off the floor. And then bring them slowly back up. And then, of course, the other one. So the opposite foot and hand come down. Use that core for support. Keeping the foot and hand slightly off the floor, the other one straight up as much as you can. And then again, bring the right foot. So as you get into that upright position, if you want to straighten your knees a little bit more, pull the kneecaps toward your thighs and tighten the front of your thighs. That helps that hamstring stretch on the back of your legs straight. Keep the shoulders, shoulder blades down toward the floor as that fingers go straight up. And again, let's do the first foot and hand back down, just hovering over the floor, and then back up, and the other foot and hand. And again, slowly back up. Now, if you're ready, we'll do both feet and hands together. It's going to be more intense. You may not get as far toward the floor. That's perfectly okay. Remember, personal practice. If you don't want to do both together, that's okay too. Just go ahead and do the second ones. So just bring them down as far as they want to go, hovering over the floor, keeping that core working, and bring them back up. And again. 
if you're doing the separate leg and legs and hands, do the opposite side or do the double one again. And again, hover over the floor, reaching out, and then slowly bring them back up. And then bend your knees and bring your arms around your legs and give yourself a little hug to release any tension. And then head and feet to the floor, sliding your legs back out. Hands, palms up, just a little reclined integration, letting your shoulders relax and your belly release after that core work. Take a moment to breathe. Exhaling any tension. Then again, sitting lines towards your heels, press your back gently down, heels in right next to your hips, and arms relaxed. Bring your arms up to T position, shoulders down, hands palms up or down T position, and we'll do a little twist. So pressing your sitting lines towards your heels, bring that back of your body down toward the floor, and then left your feet, knees right above your hips, and feet together. We're gonna to roll over to one side with the knees, just our regular side twist, turning your head toward the opposite arm. Hands, palms up or down, your choice. Just let those shoulders, shoulder blades stay on the floor for that middle back twist. Head turning for your neck area, and knees coming down for your low back twist. If you like the low back twist and you want it a little bit more intense and working in that area, you can bring your knees up toward your elbow, or you can extend your legs straight and bring the feet out toward your hand. And again, just go as deeply into that as you'd like with your shoulders down on the floor and your head turning the opposite way. Take a breath, just relax. Deepen your twist as much or little as your body needs. And when you're ready to release, bring your heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back, straighten things out. Getting ready to go, of course, twisting to the opposite side. So once again, the knees start right above the hips, feet off the floor next to each other, and rolling to the other side, knees right there at hip level, turning your head to the other body. Again, shoulder, shoulder blades down. Let that middle back get a good twist to it. Head turning through your neck area as much or little as your neck needs. And again, keeping the knees going down toward the floor. Remember, you can pad if you need to for support. Or if you're loving it, you can bring the knees further toward your elbow. Or you can extend the legs out straight either way. Take a breath. Just relax. Allow your body to do its twist, however much or little you need today. Take a breath again, just release. And once again, to release that twist, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. Take a moment there, bring your feet to the floor. Take a few breaths there, just relaxing. Tension. We're going to do another twist. This time it's going to be a little bit more intense. So remember, personal practice, whatever is right for you. We're going to keep the shoulders and shoulder blades down. Hands, palms up or down. You may get a little more stability with the hands, palms to the floor for this one. And then we're going to bring the feet again off the floor. And if you can, send the feet all the way up. Otherwise, keep them bent 90 degrees so that they're parallel to the floor. And then we're going to roll the feet over to the side if you're fully extended or the knees over to the side into the pendulum twist. So again, the head goes toward the opposite direction. Those feet hover off the floor as you bring the legs out straight. Arms, shoulders pressing down gently into the floor for support. Take a breath. And then as you inhale, bring the legs back up. And again, either perpendicular to the floor or parallel to the floor or perpendicular to the floor, whichever is working for you. 
And of course, we're going to twist to the opposite side. So hands, palms down for a little more support. They can be palms up if you prefer. And again, keep the shoulder, shoulder blades down. Rotate those feet over or knees over to the side. And again, just hovering over the floor. Shoulders, shoulder blades pressing down, core working to support you as you let those feet stay just above the floor, whether you're bent knee or straight. Take a breath, relax as much as you can. And again, on the inhalation, bring the feet back up, pull your legs back up to the starting position. And go ahead and either one leg at a time or both legs at a time, bring your feet down to the floor. Take a moment to breathe. And then as your feet get all the way down, take a moment to relax and allow everything to release into that surface thing with you. Keep your arms at shoulder level, palms up this time, and we'll do one more twist for our day. So once again, just press the back down to the floor, shoulders and shoulder blades down, hands straight out from your shoulders, palms up. Bring that right leg to the ceiling, flex the foot, and stretch out the left leg on the floor. Keep your head on the mat. We're rolling all the way over to the left side. So bring your hands together on the floor in front of you, your foot all the way down to the floor. See if you can hold your foot with your left hand. If not, just hold your leg. And bring your right hand up to the ceiling. Palm open. Keep it at shoulder level as you bring it down behind you toward the floor, back of the hand going toward the floor, turning your head to look at it as it goes. So you're bringing your neck area into the twist with that head turning. The hand comes with gravity toward the floor. It may not make it, that's okay. Just go as far as it wants to. And allow that shoulder to go toward the floor as much as it wants for your middle back twist. And of course, the more you hold the foot and push it away from you, on the opposite side, the more your lower back gets into that twist. So remember, breathe deep. Only go as far as your body needs and wants and allow the twist to happen. The more you emphasize those exhalations, remember the more the ligaments along the spine release and the more you get into your twist as much as your body is ready to do today. So take a breath, exhaling and relaxing as much as you want. And of course, on your own, you'd hold those twists longer, but for now, just release that leg or foot and onto your back, flex the heel, Use that core again for support as you lower the leg to the floor. When it gets down, get ready because we've got to twist the other way and balance the body. So shoulder, shoulder, legs down, hands, palms up, straight out from your shoulders. And again, pressing the back gently down, that left foot comes up, flexing the heel, getting it as straight as it wants to be. As you keep the head on the floor and roll to the right side. Foot to the floor. Hold that with your right hand if you want, or your leg, and bring the left hand above your shoulder, letting it go to gravity back of the hand toward the floor behind you. Turn your head, look at that hand, press the foot away if you need like the low back twist, and relax your spine with the exhalations, allowing your Ligaments to release and move deeper into your twist when your body is ready. Exhale any tension. Let everything go. Allowing your twist as much or as little as you need to do. And as always, since we have to have a little relaxation time, go ahead and let go of your foot, rolling onto your back, flex the heel, and lead with your Heel as you keep that core active, supporting it into corpse position for our relaxation. So feet hip width apart, toes slightly toward each other and then relaxing. Hands, palms up, away from your sides, shoulders down, letting your heart open and breathe. Exhale any tension. There's a little curve to your spine, that's fine. Just allow it to relax completely. Lots of midsection work today, so just go ahead and let that hold. 
core area, hip area, relax completely. Let your legs just release, hands relax, shoulders soften. You just allow your body to grow heavy and sink into the surface beneath you for support. You let the earth support and let your body relax. Deep in your breath, you just allow your awareness of your body to release completely. And as those thoughts release, you know that other thoughts will come to you. Just let them go as well, allowing your mind to drift easily as you go. No need to think of the past or anticipate the future. No need to worry about anything. Just let those thoughts drift away. Allowing your awareness to release body and mind, just focusing on the peace within you. Feel your body, feel your mind, feel your entire being just with peace. And keep relaxing as long as you have time today. If now it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just draw energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, too. And as you breathe more fully, you're moving your body gently, however it feels right for you today. Breathing, stretching as so you're ready to do so. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, Sitting rows toward your heels, back gently pressing down. Draw your heels to your hips and your knees up toward your head. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the pool, roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead of you. Thanks for joining me.